Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, it's Simon here from Vans today in Worcester. I'm here to give you a video walk around of this 2020 on a 70 plate. Uh, this is a fairly rare bit of kit. Uh, so obviously Volkswagen Transporter, 2 litre TDI, 150 brake horsepower with the 6 speed manual gearbox. Um, in Highline specification, which obviously is the specification that everybody wants. Um, but it is also a full motion. Uh, a 150 manual full motion is a pretty rare bit of kit and let alone in the long wheelbase format. Um, this is a one keeper from new vehicle. It has covered uh, 92,000 miles from new, direct off the lease company. Uh, we will fully service it before it goes out the door and that is going to include a fresh cam belt on it there for you folks. Um, and we'll also get the Haldex done on it at the same time. So uh, as well as your normal oil, air, fuel and pollen filters. So you'll have a properly prepared and serviced vehicle before you take delivery of it. Um, now, for those of you who haven't seen our videos before, the purpose of our videos is to give you a warts and all video walk around of the vehicle so you get an idea of exactly what it is that you're buying. And then you can make that informed decision whether this is the vehicle for you or not. So let's get going with that, shall we? And I always start up here on the roofs. Now, it has come into us without any form of roof rack on it. Uh, and from what I can see at this level, that's all looking pretty straight and tidy up there. Down to your windscreen. The windscreen is the heated quick clear windscreen variety. Uh, no major stone chips or cracks to worry about. All looking good. Down onto the bonnet. And the bonnet is in good overall condition. Now, there are some stone chips that have been touched up. Um, they have been done um, in a very cosmetically pleasing way. Um, so nothing uh, sort of hideous to point out to you. Um, but equally, I don't want you to think that there are no stone chips on it because there have been. Uh, front grills, front bumper, etc. all looking neat and tidy as well. Uh, your passenger side headlamp unit, that's all good. That is automatic headlights on this vehicle as well. And then coming down to your passenger side front bumper corner with uh, fog light. And you do, uh, you may have noticed it's got front and rear parking sensors fitted to it. Now, if we look down the side profile of the vehicle from this angle, you'll see there's a nice mirror finish to the paintwork um, and it's all pretty straight and tidy looking down the side there. Around to the driver's side, driver's side headlamp unit, that's all good. And then your driver's side front bumper corner again, that's all good. Front fog lights, good. Front parking sensors are good as well. And if we look down the side profile of the van from this angle, again, nice mirror finish to the paintwork. I can see just a really, really minor little ding on the rear quarter around about here, but it is not very standout at all. Uh, driver's side front wing, uh, that's all good. Your side repeater is where it should be. Um, the one thing I will just point out to you is there is just a little bit of a wonk on the bumper there. Uh, wonk. I'm trying to think of a better word than a wonk. Um, it's just... I think the plastic on the bumper may be a little bit distorted there. Um, but there is, yeah, it's not massively noticeable, I've got to say. I've got to point it out to you to really show it. Um, driver's side front ala wheel. Um, again, overall good condition. Minor curbing to it, but nothing major. We have an Avon tyre on there. That tyre has plenty of tyre tread depth, as you can see there. Um, Driver's side mirror unit, that's looking good. Driver's side mirror itself's good. Driver's side door glass, that's all looking good as well. The driver's side door itself is in overall good, clean, tidy condition. Uh, one thing I will say, there is some corrosion on those front discs. We'll see if those clean up. If they don't clean up, then we'll be banging some disc and pads on it. To be quite frank with you, I'm on the verge of possibly converting this into a combi and keeping it for ourselves for a ski trip down to the Alps shortly. So yeah, if you are interested in buying it, buy it quick before I change my mind. Um, door lock, okay. Uh, there has a, the cover for the lock is missing on there, okay. There's like a glossy cover that isn't on there any longer. Uh, alignment of the door, that's all looking good. If I get down low, check out your lower sills. Those are in good condition with no apparent damage. Your rear quarter is again in good overall condition. I will try and point out to you that little ding I was talking about. It's on the swage line. 
Oh, oh God, as I fall over on the floor like a drunk. I'm not drunk, just out of interest. Uh, there we go. Can you just slightly see it here? Yeah, it is tiny, really, really tiny. Uh, driver's side, rear alloy wheel, Michelin tyre, Michelin gearless tyre on there. Um, and alloy's in pretty good condition. Tyre itself, plenty of tyre tread depth on there. And then here's another viewpoint of the driver's side of the vehicle from this angle. You can see it all looks very pretty. Let's stand over here and give you an overview of the driver's side of the vehicle. There we go. Right, driver's side rear bumper corner, all good, no scuffs. Driver's side rear light units, all good. Door hinges are looking good as well. Around to the back end of the vehicle and you've got rear barn doors on a 50-50 split. We have high level brake lights, those are good. Alignment of the doors is looking good as well. Your rear bumper has reflectors present and correct. Genuine Volkswagen bumper protector on there as well. Rear parking sensors as you may or may not have noticed. And then inside the van we have factory bulkhead. Uh, not had a lot of hard work. It's not beaten to death or anything. Headlining's all looking good. Your side panels, those are looking good as well. Even your paintwork around here, it's not scratched and battered to death. It's, it's done a job, but it's, uh, it's not been massively abused. Ply lining, yeah, it's done a job, but there's still plenty of life left in it. Inside of your rear doors, again, ply lined, and again, they're not scratched and battered to death. Um, yes, again, minor signs of wear and tear, but nothing major. And then, driver's side rear light unit, that's all looking good. Door hinge is good, bumper corner. We have the slightest of little marks on the bumper corner here. Have a look down the passenger side, passenger sides. Looking pretty clean and tidy as well. Nice reflection in that paintwork. Upper quarter's good. Lower quarter is again good. Your passenger side alloy wheel and tyre. We've got an Avon tyre on that one. Tyre tread depth pretty good. And sliding doors looking good. Get down low, check out the lower sills. No damage to there. Passenger side front door. That's all looking good, as is your door glass. Door handles, those are all good. Your mirror unit and mirrors are good. And then your passenger side front wing with side repeater, all looking pretty good as well. Passenger side front alloy wheel, Avon tire on that one. Plenty of tire tread depth as you can see. And then sliding door, that opens up, slides back and holds into place nicely. Your internal door shuts are clean and tidy. Sliding door rubber is present and correct and in good condition. Your entry sills and plastics on your sliding door, those are looking good. There's another viewpoint of your bulkhead. Yes, your ply lining kit's got a bit of red paint sprayed onto it there, but to be quite frank with you, if you're buying it to work it, the ply lining kit has plenty of life left on it and a quick refresh with some grey goward floor paint would completely transform the inside of it. If you're looking to buy it to convert it, uh, then you're just gonna be ripping all of that out anyway, aren't you? So, uh, and passenger side door card, again, clean and tidy. Door shuts, all good. Entry seals and plastics are in good condition. The diesel fuel filler and blue is there. Your flooring inside clean and tidy as well. Glove box, locking wheel nut keys in there. You do have aircon going to your glove box as well. You do have a passenger airbag. Headlining's all good. And then your passenger side seat trim is also in clean, tidy condition as well. And we'll pop open the bonnet for you in a second so I can show you under there. And then your driver's side door card, again, clean and tidy. Central locking, electric windows that are folding and heated. Oh, sorry, electric mirrors that are folding and heated and then electric windows, they slidey up and downy. Uh, door shuts, all good. Entry seals and plastics again, all good. We have a little bit of wear on the rubber flooring there. 
Um, pedal rubbers are all good. Driver's side seat, again all good. They do just get a little bit of excessive um, like material in them with a bit of wear on them. Uh, you do have your twin armrest as well, so proper captain's chair. Um, leather multifunction steering wheel. Your bonnet release is just down there. Auto lights, front and rear fog lights, electronic stability program. We have um, multifunction leather steering wheel, as I've already mentioned, with cruise control, a bit of voice activation. Um, steer, uh, your instrument binnacle, as you can see, 92,170 miles. It's nice and clean and clear. It's not full of dust. <coughs> and then your head unit, you've got DAB, FM, AM, Bluetooth telephone, Bluetooth music. You also have App Connect on there as well. Um, so Android Auto, Apple CarPlay and Mirror Link. Um, electronic, uh, sorry, electronic stability program, parking sensors, the all important air conditioning and your heated quick clear front windscreen. There's your six speed manual gearbox. But everything's all very nice and pleasant in here as you expect with a transporter. Now then I'll show you under the bonnet. <coughs> and it's all nice and tidy under the bonnet. The bonnet comes with your hydraulic um, stay opening things. Um, and there's your air box, there's your brake fluid, there's your coolant, correct colour coolant for Volkswagen, no contamination in it. Batteries over there and everything's all pretty fine and dandy. Now this model we can remap, so this is 150 brake horsepower with one of our Pendle Performance remaps on it. It'll take it to knocking on the door 200 brake horsepower if you wanted a bit more grunt, a bit more bang for your buck, sir. And there we go, my friends. Um, there's about 50 to 60 photos of this van on our website. Our website is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester, based in the centre of the country, offering you nationwide delivery, part exchange and finance. If you're worried about who you're buying off, check out our reputation online. We have reviews, Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram. Uh, you're watching the video on our YouTube channel, so like and subscribe for uh, to be kept up to date with all our latest purchases. And enough of my waffle. There's 13 minutes of your life you're never going to get back. But if you are interested in the van, it gives you an honest description of exactly what it is that you're buying. Thanks very much, folks. Speak to you later. Cheers.